because that'll help. Let's head back. Okay. One, two, three, four. All right, seven pieces. Just double checking, but everyone wrote their code name and a door number they want, right? Yes, just like you told us earlier. <sighs> Can't believe we're voting here. We need to make the whole thing fair, blah de blah. This is a complicated plan, you know. Hurry it up, Mr. I have a brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah, quiet in the peanut gallery. <sighs> All right, let's open these up. The first one says, Ace requests door one. Yes, I do. Would you like me to explain why? No, we don't have time for that. Sorry, let's keep going. Next is Santa. He wants door six. Yeah, that's what I wrote. Clover wants one, Lotus wants two, and Seven also wants two. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, there is no way I'm going anywhere with the Elephant Man. No, there'd be no point to the voting if we let people change their choices because of stuff like that. But, uh... Just give it up, Lotus. It's not like I want to hang out with some exhibitionist grandma. I am not an exhibitionist. I'm wearing clothes. Barely. So, last I checked, that's not a crime. Maybe. But what about common decency? Nobody wants to have to look at a chick who looks like a half-naked raisin. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, I'm gonna kill you! Oh, shit. Oh, not good. Let go! Let go of me! I'm killing him! <laughs> Junpei, read the rest. Uh, right. <laughs> June wants door six. Yes, I don't really have a reason. I just felt <laughs> like it. So this was everyone's vote. Ace and Clover requested door one. Seven and Lotus requested door two. Santa and June requested door six. Then the door I should choose is... Okay, the last one is mine. I want to go through... Uh-oh. Which door should we go through, chat? Which door should we go through? Go through. Let's try six first. I want to go through door six. That's a problem. None of these teams will be able to go through the doors they want. Clover and I chose door one. Lotus and I chose door two. That's not enough people to open a numbered door, however. The digital roots don't match up either. We've got similar problems. June, Junpei, and I want to go through door six. But our digital root is five. If we're going to open that door, we need a one. Damn, what are we going to do now? <sighs> what are we going to do? Hmm. Hmm. Why don't Seven and Lotus go through door one with me? <laughs> uh, what, what about me? Isn't that obvious? Wasn't one of the teams just complaining that they didn't have a one? 
You mean I should join Santa's team? Merry yes. Christmas! Huh. I understand. I'll go through door six then. If we do as Clover has suggested, we can all pass through a numbered door and no one will be left behind. This seems to be the most reasonable solution. Seven, Lotus, what do you guys think? I don't have a problem with it. Me either. All right then, we're good to go. See you later. Wait, Clover, don't move on your own. I gotta kill you. Oh, I'll be going too then. Yeah. Be careful. We should get going as well. This is E deck. There should be a door at the end of the hall. All right, let's go. Would anyone in chat bang the emo out of Santa? Here it is. You guys ready? Yeah. And let's get to it. Hey! I found it! It's right there! Uh... Oh, it stopped. Thank God. Yes, it stopped. Oh, thank God. Ooh, I don't believe I'll ever get used to that. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. Yeah, let's just do that. You got that right. Once I'm out of this hellhole, I'm taking a nice long vacation. What, to emo <laughs> land? I agree. All right, let's go. This door looks heavy. Like your ass. But it's not locked. I'm opening it. Whoa, what the hell is this? Where are, oh, we're down the middle now. It's like a super long path, man. This has to be the biggest room so far. The ceiling is pretty high, too. Huh. Could be two stories, maybe even more. This space could be utilizing the entire length of the ship. What's that huge Kamaboko looking building in the middle? The what? <laughs> Did she just make up a word? Kamaboko? <laughs> well, I guess that's as good of a description of it as any. I see stairs, so we may as well head over to them. Yeah, but this section's barely wide enough to fit one person. You're right. Whoa, you can't even tell the shape when you're this close. Let's check out the other side, too. This looks to be the steam engine room. The steam engine room? Yes, that thing that looks like a cross section of a mushroom is the boiler. Do you see the three round doors near the bottom? Coal is put into those and burned, which heats the water, producing steam. I did Titanic. The same thing that drives a steam engine. This one is simply somewhat larger. I see. It doesn't appear to be running right now. All right, let's split up. Hey, what's wrong? Are you all right? Hey, June. Jumpy. Oh. You, 
Oh, you're you're really warm. Is your fever coming back? Yes. Yes. It probably is. But I'm fine. Please don't worry about me. I just need to rest. And I'll be fine. Okay, okay. Uh here, sit down. Uh careful. Thank you. Ace, Santa. Yes. Right. Well, a lot of Japanese get whoops. Wait, what? What happened? Whoops. What I do? I think I skipped. Whoops. I accidentally hit the wrong thing, I think. I know I wrecked a merge and I'll get back to where we were. Sorry. This. Yeah. We should fit. All right. But it's not. Huh. I see. St You're right. What? Hey, what's wrong? Are you all right? What? 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 Thank you. Ace, Santa. Yes. Right. All right, let's get started. Hang in there, June. I'm gonna get you out of here real soon. Okay, well, we missed like one line. Whoops. <laughs> Hashtag worth it, though. How to get that lore. <laughs> All right. It's like sleuths go in there. Look at that back wall there. Three small slots. Hmm. Got to slide something in there for sure. A pair of wooden boxes here. There's uh, nothing in them. Look, Ace, some kind of snowman secret meeting. <sighs> Just bags full of sand. Use them as kind of way when you're lifting something with the pulley system. Man, you're too serious. Gears rest of the is still pretty sturdy. Sober gear. Bear runs something. What's up here? Given this placement, it must be unlocked door to the left. Weird indentation top this thing. Did it just something here? Yeah. Boxes all empty. This something so important. What's so important? Look at the stairs. Look at them carefully. That that gap. That gap, that height, that angle, it's perfect. Perfect. Perfect for what? Whatever, just bring Clover here right now. Tell her she needs to walk up and down these stairs. Clover's not here. What the hell is she talking about? Is he 
I'm trying to look up her skirt. Huge bronze gear. It's gotta be important. Rusty, some small door in the tunnel. A golden gear, it doesn't seem like it was always golden like this. Door, belt over it. Three sliders on left or down, this one up. There are a number of lines engraved in these. Expect we're meant to do something rather specific with them. Want to be that slider down. Don't have a try, I suppose. Nothing. Hmm. Nothing happened. Maybe it needs to be prepared somehow. The door came through. Move coal. Hmm. I don't. I haven't found a single part yet. Burner stairs. It's empty. Nothing there. Another door. Looks like really good in there. Scaffolding. The door is A on it. Noisy, but it opens. Totally pitch black in there. Let's go. Looks like door went into, where are we? Other side, yes. It's projected by the conveyor belt. Number of boxes, something to go over there. Nothing. A whole bunch of boxes in the way, can't get through. It's like a hand operated winch. But it doesn't look like there's any way to operate it. it means the wheel isn't attached. that draw map side your head that way you don't get lost all right let's get this wheel a spin it's weird i don't feel any resistance good job you broke it i didn't break it i broke up all it all broke by itself well now we have a wheel that on C side. Okay, good work. Let's haul that wooden box up. Come on, just tire the damn thing. Got it seems like in um every Japanese RPG they have to explain every step like you're a three year old. Every single thing you do, they explain it and then re explain it and then re explain it again. Oh man. I believe the box has reached the floor. Thank God. Yeah. June's down over by there. She doesn't seem to be improving. Well, of course not. She's not going to just get better right away, you know. It'll take time. What could be causing this, I wonder? 
Illness, perhaps? Nah, it's gotta be exhaustion. She gets dropped into some weird-ass ship, forced to play some messed-up game. If you think about it, it's a lot weirder that we aren't freaking out just like her, you know? So you're saying we're abnormal? Yeah. We're just running around this room, solving all these puzzles like it's just business as usual. Well, it is. How the hell could you call that normal? We're just guinea pigs. A guinea pig? You mean like a lab rat? You mean we're being used for some sort of experiment? Is that what you're saying? Dunno. But it does seem like a possibility, you know? What's in the box? You know, speaking of experiments, there was this experiment some scientists did with rats. Oh, dear God. Tell me all about it. First, they took a squarish C-shaped tank and filled it with enough water that the rats could drown in it. The tank has two exits. Just to make it easy, we'll call one A and the other B. Exit A is pitch black, so dark even a rat can't see anything. But exit B is electrified, which means the rat can't leave through it. So, what would a rat do if it was put in this situation? Which exit would the rat choose? Well, this is cruel as hell. B, of course. The rat has no way of knowing that exit B is electrified. Exactly. The rat goes to exit B. Of course, like I said, it's electrified. Which means the rat can't get out that way. So, after a lot of trial and error, the rat finally finds exit A. Hmm. I can't say that's very interesting or relevant. It's simply the story of a laboratory experiment. You're right. It isn't very interesting. Yet. Hmm? Oh? See, these scientists repeated this experiment over and over, using hundreds of different rats over several generations. This produced some surprising results. With each generation, the rats took less time to find the correct exit. Eventually, a rat was put in the tank who instantly chose exit A without even attempting to go to exit B. But that wasn't the most impressive part. The same experiment was conducted in another laboratory, far from the original one, with the same results. No, on second thought, the results weren't really the same. The rats in this second experiment began the trials with significantly faster times than the first rats in the initial one. These rats weren't related to the others and had never even come in contact with them. And yet, they all easily found their way to exit A as though they already knew. What? What did it mean? Are you suggesting something like telepathy? They were passing information to one another through some undetectable medium? <laughs> How the hell would I know? I'm not any kind of scientist. I don't know what made him do that. But I do know that story's true. And if you've got another explanation, I'd sure love to hear it. Hmm. Maybe they're like the Borg? Come on, let's get going. There's still a lot here we haven't checked out. And we gotta get the hell out of here before June passes out. Hmm. I would like to see some more scientists try this out. Hmm. Hey, wait. There's something I want to ask you. What? Why did they use that tank for the experiment? Huh? What? Well, I mean, it seems like you could conduct the same experiment without the water. They could have just used a dry box, you know? If they needed to motivate the rats to escape, they could have, I don't know, put some bait by exit B or, or something. I mean, do they really have to make it so the rats can drown? You know, the word emergency comes from the same root as the word emerge. No way!
You mean the whole word emerge is in the first part of emergency? Now that's way to win. No way. How revolutionary. You ever think about that? Huh? Well, an emergency is something urgent, often something dangerous. And to emerge means to sort of come out, or appear, or rise out of something else. Uh-huh. So what's going to emerge in an emergency? Inspiration. No, I thought, I thought C was, or it, in C. Inspiration? Yeah. Think about it. When the chips are down, either you crack or your mind focuses and pulls up what you need. So in an emergency, your real potential emerges. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. That's why the rats had to drown. They had to be in danger. There had to be an emergency for inspiration to emerge. Oh. What now? Oh, really? So many random little science experiments in this game. Right there. Control panel for something. That obviously goes in here. Dude, you did it. Everything looks all right. Okay, but what do we need to do now? Why don't you press the button next to it? The orange one. All sorts of lights are lighting up on this thing. I think I heard something turn on. Oh, what's that? What emerged? Look, the fairy belt's moving. Fairy belt. Still a lot of coal in the belt, though. Looks like a bunch got dumped off the end of the belt in that, that wooden box. New subscriber. A box filled with coal. It's coal, shiny and black and coal like. I guess like coal. Driver. Thank you for subbing, Schizo Kid. Hmm. I don't think I think I'm doing anything else now. Doors welded shut. has to go somewhere. Alright, well. It's gotta be upstairs then. Alright guys, I'm gonna grab my food. I'll be right back in just a second. Delivery secret.
new subscriber. Sorry, I'm back. Delivery driver was an idiot. I just got a salad. No big deal. find somewhere to burn this, I guess. It's just a salad. Don't judge my salad.
Chewie's, Chewie's resting right underneath it. put this this coal at hmm. Hmm. it's got to be downstairs somewhere I don't know where the hell to... The winch, nothing up. I am confused. I don't see anywhere to interact. tried click it on everything I don't know what to do now I've tried everything I can think of. I said it's telling me to burn it basically, but I don't know see anywhere to burn it. circle metal lockers in the wall downstairs oh there we go they're rusted shut new subscriber
that we're still stuck though. Well, now I'm confused. I don't know where to stick this. The things are rusted shut. I don't know how to open them now. Hello, Shannon. New Thank you for that. That resub for 40 months. Uh, there X, thank you for that sub as well. I know I said other side, but I don't, there's no way to go over there. I don't have a way to get to the other side. Unless there was a stairway I missed or something. There's no way down. Uh, like I can't get down to where the boilers are. I can go on top of where they are, but I can't go down to those, those places. Helping. I've been on the other side. How? I've looked down these hallways. I can't like go back there. Can't go past the control panel, won't let me. There's no way over there. Oh, this is starting to get really annoying. God, I hate stuff like this in a game where you just get stuck clicking forever. It won't let me go over here. God damn it. back there Don't let me back there Don't let me back there those are rusted shut Fucking goddamn piece of shit. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Use the wheel, open the door, the bear belt. Tap the control control, take the coal box. Turn around and tap the three circles. Should be right. Tap the three circular rings on the rectangular doors in them. I'm not trying to set our meta things. What? 
it. And tap the three circular metal things when, with rectangular doors in them. Take box of coal left side of the Turn around and tap the three circular metal things with the door in them. Yes. This should open the rectangular doors. If not, try another set of circular metal things. Where? Can't click on this one. It won't click on that one either. So open the right door. If not, try to use the coal on. God damn it! Oh my god, there's a left there. Okay, there we're good. Alright, got it. First try. Easy. Jay, okay, explain it to me again. You're planning to stoke the furnace with coal? will heat the water stored up there and make steam will then drive something else you want to generate enough pressure with the steam to power the turbine and drive the steam engine right yeah I guess that's the gist of it well, in that case this isn't enough coal first is enormous we need a whole hell of a lot more than this very well it takes three of us to work together and we should manage to fill it much faster I don't want to help too I told you to see her walk up are you feeling up to that? Yeah. Like you're one step breeze away from falling over, Jim. I think you better rest some more, alright? But no arguing. You need your rest. You just stay there and we'll handle this. Okay, I understand. Time for some manly work. That should be enough. I know how to light the coal. It's that one device with switches, most likely. Do it. Look at this. The big gear is turning under the boiler here. The gears. They're spinning. What are you guys waiting for? Let's start looking. Metal disc, gold disc, bronze disc, silver disc. Well, there was a spot where we saw three circles could go into, which is right here. Yes, put them in there. Nothing happened. Maybe you're putting them in the wrong places? Perhaps you have faced in the wrong direction? Or did it just make some lines connect to each other? This is clicked, it'll rotate a certain amount. 
The white is air is clicked, the discs are unswitched. Discs are switched, the angles for the disc are reset. Wait, what? Lines of disc. They might be a star polygon with these. I found it. Yes, the door's open. All right, Junpei. Why don't you go get June now? Santa and I will keep an eye on the store. Why do we need to do that? Even if it shuts, we know how to solve the puzzle now. We could just open it again. Well, I suppose that's true. Shall all three of us go and collect June then? Nah, I'm cool. I'll let Junpei handle it. So are you only interested in being contrary? All right, I'll go get June. I'll be right back. Jumpy! Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine now. I'm sorry I made you worry. Uh, let me check. <gasps> Good. You're feeling a lot better. Are you sure you're all right? Oh, you're such a warrior, Jumpy. Oops, I mean, <laughs> warrior! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Go where? Oh, right, I didn't tell you. We got the exit open, so... Great, let's go! Oh, it's... Santa? What are you looking at? The naughty it's a photo. list. It's my sister. Sister? Santa, you've got a sister? Yeah. Kid was cute as a button. She was only about an inch tall then? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, sorry. That wasn't funny. I guess an inch is a little large for a button. Probably more like a half inch. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Why are you looking at it? Really? <sighs> I was her Santa Claus. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> we didn't have parents. They bought it in an accident when we were still kids. So I had to be like her dad. And that meant that I bought her Christmas presents every year. Christmas Eve, I'd leave the present next to her pillow. And the next morning, she'd come running into my room with this big smile. Look, look, Santa left me a present. He got me that doll I really wanted. I'm so glad he got my letter. She was always so excited. I was the one who told her to write those letters. I'd say, write down something you want and mail it to Santa. The address I gave her was somewhere in Northern Europe that doesn't exist. Anyway, she'd write the letter and stamp it and send it out. And then a few days later, it'd show up back in our mailbox marked address unknown. I'd open the letters before she figured out they'd been sent back. Once I had the letter, I'd go around to a couple stores with some money I'd saved up over the year and buy her the stuff she'd asked for. It took a lot of saving 
but I managed to buy her presents every year. Huh. Huh. But one year, huh. her letter was different. She didn't write a list of toys she wanted or anything like that. Instead, it said, I don't want any presents this year. Instead, I want you to make my wish come true. My wish is that we'll be happy like this for a really, really long time. That was it. Nothing else. But I couldn't make that wish come true. Some Santa I am. What happened? She died. She was killed. Nine years ago. Oh. <gasps> All right, let's go. Hmm. Huh? Huh? Hey, what are you two doing? Let's get moving. Come on. Just dipping my nuggets in hot mustard. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, you're finally back. Sorry we took so long. Let's go. Huh, is, is this a warehouse? No, I believe this is the cargo room. This must be where they store all of this vessel's freight. There are wooden crates everywhere. I wonder how old they are. Well, we probably ought to start with finding the exit, right? Let's get going. I bet it's, uh, the exit's locked. Find it! Ooh. Bunch of bags here, I wonder what's in them. Card with a headshot? That's that one guy. Ooh. Card with a ninth man's face printed on it. What's that? It's a card. It has a headshot on it. A headshot? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the purpose of this could po possibly serve. Wait a minute, maybe it's a Guess Who board. I love Guess Who. Crates are quite large. They seem to be tied to one of uh, another with sturdy straps. Another headshot with Santa. Nothing inside. Three crates stacked up like stairs. Why? I've got a bad feeling about it. Pussy. Okay, fine. I'll go. Just be careful, Santa. Just in case. What's he gonna do with that screw? I don't see what throwing a screw out of fences. Holy shit! This. Oh man. There's electricity right through that fence. Looks like it. And we kicked to the other side. We could jump off these crates, but we wouldn't be able to get back. Headshot. Another headshot. Another headshot. Got his music though. I don't know what's in these barrels. Judging by their weight, probably a liquid of some sort. 
another headshot. Nothing in the boxes. Oh, two are there. Me and June together. The only two that were together. Go upstairs. Uh, locked. Electric lock. Need a key. There are four crates lined up at equal intervals. Heavy look at metal box. A machine. Spinning head looks kind of cute. Some kind of coffin. What? Several lights here, but numbers one through nine. Only light with nine is on. Covering something. Some kind of shutter. Maybe it's open if we if you do something. Monitor's off. That's June. It's locked. We need, we need the key. All the boxes have numbers on them. Do they? Oh! Ace picked down and spent something heavy sitting next to the box. Hey, look at this. Cards. Cards with a headshot. Well, now we have all nine of them. Now we finally have all nine picture cards. We just need to insert these cards into the slots at the front of each box. Yeah. You know which card goes in which box, yes? Duh. Uh, yeah, of course I do. It's really obvious. Or is it? You just match our numbers to the numbers. Then you pop the corresponding card in the right box. So, for instance, the card with the picture of Ace on it goes into box one. Are they really explaining this? Like, really? The card with the picture of Snake on it goes into box two, and so on. Really? Oh, uh, I see. Huh? What is it? Hey! June, are you okay? What the hell just happened? I'm sorry, I, I gotta go check on her. You finish the box thing, all right? What the hell is wrong with her? She keeps... Uh, uh... Just put the cards in the boxes. I'm counting on you. Are you all right? What happened? Can you stand? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm fine. I just tripped. Don't give me that. Now is not the time. But it's true. I, I tripped over a box. Just let me see for a sec. Huh? You're still warm. I saw her fall. I think she really did just trip on something, you know? Still, to fall down like that? I think she's probably still a little messed up. All right, well, let's just get out of here as fast as we can so we can get you to a hospital. Why are you blushing? Well, I don't think it's anything that serious. I just need a little medicine and some sleep, and I'll be fine. Medicine? Medicine, huh? Hmm. Well, if we could get in touch with anyone outside, I'll bet Ace could swing that for you easy. Ace? Why? Huh? Don't you know? He's the president of a pharmaceutical company. What? Cradle Pharmaceuticals is the name, I think. What? Their flagship product is an anesthetic drug called Soparil. Soparil? Soparil? I've heard of that before somewhere. Soparil. 
It's an anesthetic that's a gas at room temperature. A lot like how nitrous oxide is. It takes only a few seconds to spread, and even a small amount is very effective. It's all connected. A bunch of countries quickly accepted it for widespread use within their police and military forces. It was an effective crowd suppressant and room clearer. It was practical, ethical, and the humane nature of it made it the ideal drug. It's been around for about six years. They developed it from the extracts of several different roots. It became popular almost as soon as it was made public, with many governments placing large orders. Demand for soparil skyrocketed, and of course that meant Cradle Pharmaceuticals stock did too. Why do you know all of this? I heard it from the old man himself. From Ace? When? By the number four door at the central stairway, when we were searching the second class room. Remember how Snake, Seven, and you went to door five? It was back then. I asked him what he did for a living, and he said he ran his own company. After that, we just started talking, and I guess it just came up, you know? Huh. Are you worried about something? No, nothing. Uh, sorry, I was just thinking about the terms of mm. service, sorry. What the hell is he doing? How is he so dumb? June, don't push yourself, all right? Yes. Santa, could you take care of her? I'll go check on Ace. Looks like he's having trouble. Sure. What are you doing? What happened? Nothing. I... My vision has gotten rather blurry, I think, because of fatigue. I can't see very well at the moment. They're big-ass letters! What can't you see well? These pictures. I don't care to admit it, but I may be developing presbyopia. Growing old is a difficult thing. At any rate, I'll leave the rest to you. I'm feeling awfully tired, so if you don't mind, I'd like to rest for a bit. How could simply looking at cards have tired him out? Probably because he's a CEO and he's not hmm. used to working. But if it wasn't, what had made him so uncomfortable? Prosopagnosia. Well, put simply, it means a condition where the mind can't distinguish between human faces. In other words, my face would look the same as Clover's or even yours. So they can't remember faces, which is how most people recognize each other. Sorry. That means that people with prosopagnosia have trouble recognizing even people they're close to. Maybe, maybe he's got prosopagnosia? Huh. Well, he looks depressed enough to have it. Oh well. Time to solve the nine boxes puzzle. I don't know why they decided to make her like. Faces Carter's in box rest. one. Snakes is in number two. So big. I, mean, I just need to do the same for the rest. And finally, the ninth man's card into box nine. Yeah! Oh, they opened! Hell yeah! What the? <coughs> nine pins? I guess I'll take them with me. <laughs> well, I know where those things go. Uh, 
six holes here. It looks like pins is found could be pretty good for them. The ones you found in line boxes. Well, why don't you try it? Some of them lit up. Three and six. I wonder if there's some kind of rule that determines which lights go on. I think maybe it's a digital route. Oh. What if he wants to try? Certainly welcome. He puts the one, two, and three on the top, the three, six, eight on the bottom. They turned off. Light turns off. To the roof of the pins, you answer the same as the number of the lights that are lit. Those lights turn off. <coughs> Looks like that's the trick. Oh God. <sighs> okay. Turn all the lights on. This is gonna be a doozy. All right, I gotta use my dance smart. Okay, six. And then nine. It's also six, so do... All right, now... Nine and two is 11, which is two, which would be three. One, that's three. And then 11, which is two, would be six. Plus five. So two plus six is eight. Alright, now... If I want a square root of 1, I'd have to make... Equal 10. With three numbers. Okay, that's 1. And then 2 would have to equal 11 with three numbers. Two, six. Um, two plus nine is two. All right, now I need four and I need five. Alright, so, 9 plus 3 is 12, which is, 9 plus 3 is 12, which is 3 plus 1 is 4. And then for 5, I need 8 plus 4. Is 12, 8 plus 5 is 13, which is 4, plus, no, 8 plus 12, 2 is 12, which is 3, plus 2, which is 5. I didn't get an F! All the lights are on, the shutter open. What does that mean? F is hexadecimal, so 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, A, B, C, D, E, F. So 15?
but you can't have a digital root of 15. Wait a minute. What if nine plus five is 14, 15? Seven plus five is 12, 15, 15. Fi they're all 15 in every direction. Except horizontally is not. Fifteen. 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 That is not gonna work. if that's 14 which is not enough uh, that is 13 which is not enough uh, That's 14, 15, 15, 15. Uh, okay, that's 15, 15. Too much on the top. Um, Oh god. Every time I do one it's it messes up the other. Um nine can't touch in any direction. Um, uh, Alright, 
Hold on. Seven, three, record. Yes! <sighs> Looks like the electricity is going to the monitor on top now. All right, let's see if we can activate the devices on top. Green button, red button, and a lever. This might help. What was this? Where the hell did you find it? What is that? Where'd you find it? I found it when you were messing around with the pinholes. It was like instructions. According to what it says here, this thing's a remote control for that. That. The machine over there. Apparently it's called the Pushmaster 5. Oh no, block puzzles. Oh god, the block puzzle. <sighs> Are you serious? Whatever, so what does this do with the uh, Pushmaster 5000? See the coffin over there at the top of the crates? Don't you want to know what the, what the deal is with it? I do. You want to check it out? Yeah. Alright. How do you think we're going to get there? Well... There are some crates on the right side of the fence. Some pot up like stairs. What if we make a path to the coffin? Line up the crates, I guess. So keep from using energy yet too fast. This program should only start moving once its path has been clearly programmed in. Oh god. Fifty moves. Oh no. When uh, when a square adjacent to the push mesh is clicked, the push mesh move at that square. Push to a single crate. Set. I can't push it into a spot that I can't push it again. Nope. 
not gonna be able to push it in. Stop talking. Okay. have to be here to push it up. The only way to get to that spot is to push it from here. to do that. Nope. 